the world. A year and three months ago, I was there. That's where I met Ovan and Shino. As the three of us grew closer, I felt I'd finally found a place where I belonged. But then there was the incident in the Hulgrans Cathedral. Shino fell into a coma, and Ovan disappeared. From that point forward, the only thing left to sustain me was my desire for revenge on Triage. Seeking power, I became the terror of death. But all that power was lost when Triage hit me with a data drain. Even after that, my search for power continued. Inside, I was still seething, boiling over with feelings of injustice and rage. It was then I learned of Epitaph users. Players strong enough to combat the out-of-spec phenomenon known as Ida. The immense power of those players' avatars proved irresistible to me. Except through that power, come to think of it, I met and dealt with all kinds of people since it all started. People I could only understand by dealing with them head on. Troublemakers who were good deep down. People who had different reasons for doing things, but shared the same goals. People I could count on. And when I found out the truth, when I drew back the curtain to find Ovan orchestrating everything, it was thanks to all those people that I was able to cope. When Ovan's avatar, Korbinik, unleashed rebirth, summoning forth the anti-existence Kubia, I was able to survive, because everyone was there. That's when I realized. True power comes from all the people that we encounter in our life's journey. So, to make my peace with power once and for all, and to awaken him before it's too late, I've come back. Back to the world. Man, it's been forever since I last logged into the world. The desktop's just like I remember. Hmm? They've stopped doing updates? Well, whatever. What I'm looking for, I'll find inside the world. Time to log in. Server failure? And they're going to shut down the service? I have to hurry. I better log into the world. <laughs> sure has been a while, hasn't it? But I don't have time to drown in nostalgia. Huh? Not good. It's more unstable than I expected. Gotta get going. I should input the area word at the Chaos Gate. From Saiki. I see you're logged in, Haseo. Yes. I'm right in front of Makanu's Chaos Gate, Saiki. We're in the world. No need to be so formal. 
but... Come on, for old time's sake. Sure thing, Pi. I trust you know where to go and what to do. Head for Delta Hidden Forbidden Dark Grotto, and ascertain the situation once you arrive. Understood. I'll monitor you from the real world. And just in case you weren't already aware, here's what's up. The world is currently experiencing server issues and bugs across all systems, leading to widespread instability. No one knows why. Even the admins aren't sure how to fix the instabilities at this time. If I had to venture a guess as to the cause, I'd say the servers were straining under the weight of all this illegal activity. Not the least of which is the rebirth, and the emergence of Kubia. In any case, this place is careening down a path to destruction. And then there's CC Corp. They've made the decision to permanently shut down the World R2 on New Year's Eve, the last day of 2018. <sighs> There's only a few days left. Rescuing him is going to be a race against time. Don't worry. I know what's at stake. I hope you succeed, for your sake and his. I will. I have to make this work. This is the newest lost ground unearthed by Nap. Quahome Cavern. I finally found him. And here of all places. The guy who first got me into the world. Who guided me so he could save his little sister, Aina, from the Ida virus that infected her. And then he activated his avatar, Corbinix, forbidden power, rebirth. The man who reset this world. Ovan! It's been over a year since then, but Ovan, Masato Indo, still lies in a coma in the real world. I'm going to smash that ice to pieces. And wake you the hell up! Justice! Still not strong enough? Okay, calm down. I can do this. There has to be some way to save him. Hang in there, Ovan. I'll get you out of there one way or another. I'll find a way to break you out of that ice whether you want me to or not. That's a promise. I knew it. I need to get that power back. The power to get you out of there.
Haseo! Haseo! It really is you! <laughs> You're all here. Shino sent word to us. She told us you were coming back. Haseo! We have all been here waiting for you. Haseo, you can't just log in and not tell anybody. Alcade? And... Shino. Welcome back, Haseo. We've all been waiting for you. You didn't have to inform everyone. <laughs> of course we did. Everybody has been really worried about you, Haseo. Come on, Haseo. Let's go to the Central Square. Yeah! Come on! When they found out you'd logged in, everyone just kind of gathered around there. <sighs> I can't believe it. Everyone came here to see me. I should say hi to all of them. Natalie. Haseo. Why? Huh? I know what you've been up to. Ever since last year, you've been trying your best to save him, haven't you? When you logged into the world today, it was... It was to come and save Ovan, wasn't it? Then... Why? Why what? What's gotten into her? Why didn't you tell me earlier? Why don't you feel like you can trust me? All I want is to help you, Haseo. All I want is to be there for you. Wait, I'm sorry. Really. But just, just let me explain. I've been researching at Psyche's place this whole time. Trying to figure out how to find Ovan. Uh, I told you, right? Pai's name in the real world is Saiki. Earlier this year, she quit her job at CC Corp and transferred to NAB, the Network Administration Bureau. So I kept bugging her until she got me a job there as well. I mentioned that too, right? Anyway, I finally discovered Ovan's location. Just this morning, in fact. So you see, I honestly didn't have time to contact you or the others. That's all it was. You told Shino! <sighs> well, Shino's taking care of Ovan in the hospital, in the real world. Honestly, I didn't even want to tell her, or anyone else for that matter. Things might get really messed up again. I didn't want to put any of you guys in danger, and have you suffer for it. Haseo... So you were trying to keep it a secret! Oh, damn it. You know what normal people say when they're in trouble? Oh dear, help! I'm in trouble! If you need help, you ask for it. It's common sense. In real life, online, wherever. Well, don't you agree with me, Haseo? Well? Uh, of course. I look forward to helping you. Uh... <laughs> Am I glad to see you, Haseo? Yo, been a while. How you been? Uh, you know, same old, same old. You, uh, heard the big news, I hope. CC Corp is shutting down the world. Can you believe it? We've all had so many good times here. Man, <laughs> yeah, we wanted the adventures to just go on forever. Whoa! Yeesh! That was a big one! There sure have been a lot of noise bursts like that lately. I 
think the server's corrupted. It's no use contacting the admins, though. We're looking into it. Gee, thanks. Haseo, there's something I gotta ask. Those noise bursts, are they part of the reason why you came back? I mean, <laughs> I'm not trying to pry or anything. It's just, if you're here on a mission, we're here to help. Like before, you know? A team. All you have to do is just say the word. It could be our way of repaying the world for all the joy it's brought us. Or something like that. That's right! We want to help! Syllabus. Gaspard. Guess what? It's been six whole months since I beat the Demon Palace, the Holy Palace, and the Sage Palace. I've defended all three titles for over six months. Pretty sweet, huh? Oh, that said, the arena's already been shut down. And since the world is about to disappear for good, the player base has been steadily shrinking. It's way different from the old days when you were champion. <sighs> Hey, Haseo, there's a reason why you decided to come back to the world now, right? If anything happens, you know you can count on me. After all, I am the champion. Gotta prove my worth. Let me know what I can do, no matter what it is. Okay. Greetings, Master Haseo. It's been a long time. I'm pleased to see you're looking well. Kaede. Where's Zilkova? Off performing his inspections, I believe. Unfortunately, he did not inform me of his destination before he left. A strange choice, considering the state of the world. I don't know where he could have wandered off to. So he's not here. Zilkova, Moon Tree's Guildmaster. I wanted to ask him about something. I'm worried about Lord Zilkova. Master Haseo, if you happen to determine his whereabouts, would you please let me know? Of course. Will do. talk like that? Meow that I'm here, you needed to worry your whiskers one little bit. Let me know when you're heading into an area. Don't you forget now. Whew. Everyone's still just the same as ever. Haseo. Shino. Well? I couldn't do it. I gave it everything I had, but I couldn't break Ovan out of that ice. Oh. About Ovan. He may not actually want to wake up, you know? What? Just, maybe he doesn't want the story he created to come to an end. <sighs> I refuse to believe that. I can't. I'm going to find a way to wake Ovan back up. I swear it. Shino! Oh, um, be right back. <sighs> that ice Ovan's encased in, it's clearly outside the game spec. I wonder, if I use the epitaph's power, would that be enough to break through it? 
Haseo, I am going to seal Scathe. Your avatar does not belong in this world. Hmm? A short mail. Aina is in the Hulgrans Cathedral? Guess I'd better head over there. can guess what Ina wants to discuss. This won't be pleasant, but I gotta do it. Hmm. Welcome back, Haseo. Uh, how are things? Fine, I guess. For me. Hmm. My brother's condition is worsening. <laughs> He's been getting weaker and weaker over the months. The doctors say that he might only have a few days left. <sighs> I know you possess a mysterious power. A power that once saved the world. So why can't you save my brother? I truly believe that if anyone was gonna save him, it would be you. I believed in you this whole time. But it's... It's too late. Oh, I know. With the other eight phases absorbed, Scathe is far too strong for this world. He's likely to summon the anti-existence all on his own. The power I used to have, Scathe. It's gone. I guess I should get back to Makanu. Hello. Are you Haseo? Huh? Uh, looking for me? Are you Haseo? The same Haseo who a year and three months ago won the Arena Triple Crown? The same Haseo who a year and three months ago won the PK Tournament? The same Haseo who a year and three months ago grew Canard into a huge guild? Uh. Forgive me. 
I just had to be absolutely sure that it was really you. I have a favor to ask. Please, would you mind coming to this area? Why should I? Who are you? That man in Quahom Cavern, Ovan. <gasps> He's part of what I want to discuss. Take care. Wait! I don't get it. How the hell does she know about Ovan? And beyond that, how does a normal PC even know about Quahom? I guess I should head to Delta Unknown Evening's Drama of Deliverance. That girl... She has to be up to something. Going alone might be risky. I should probably take some friends along. a piece of cake. You're all 
Splendidly done. The monsters here are set to a level far higher than usual. And you just swat them aside like flies. Haseo, you truly are the one I've been waiting for. Uh, actually, I'm Haseo. Huh? Oh, pardon me. I can't quite match faces to names. It's fine, but who exactly are you? Let me introduce myself. My name is Kusabira. I come from the Net Slum. The Net Slum? I know the Net Slum. It's an illegal town crawling with hackers and rogue AIs. I hope you can save my brother from a monster. A monster? Yes. Two days ago, an enormous monster appeared and completely wiped out the net slum. The name of this monster is the Shadow Vigalta. Vigalta? I don't know that enemy type. It is not a part of the world's game spec. The creature is ugly, wretched, and terrible. PC, NPC, object, you name it. It simply devours anything it can put in its mouth. My brother acted as a decoy to try and protect the net slum, but the Vigalta captured and swallowed him. But my brother has a special security wall equipped. There should still be time before he's completely trapped. We can make it if we hurry. You've got to get my brother out of that Vigalta. Hmm. Okay. Then what's your brother's name? He's called Zelkova. Zelkova? Moontree Zelkova? Wait, you're his little sister? Yes. I told you that already, didn't I? Uh, no? Whatever. At least now I know who you want me to help. And when we met back at Makanu, didn't you say you had something to tell me about Ovan? Well... Ovan... Who's Ovan? The man in Quaholm Cavern! Those were your exact words! Ah, uh, forgive me. I'm not very good at matching names with faces. Ah, uh, yes, Ovan. That was his name. He has rejected the outside world and sealed himself inside that ice. I understand what he's feeling. His wish is to disappear along with this world. What? But I know the way in which he may be saved. And I will tell you, if you help my brother. Please go to this area and rescue Zelkova.
This is in your hands now. What is with that girl? There's something not quite right about her. But even so, she does seem to know about Ovan. Maybe she even actually knows how to save him from that ice. And Zelkova's involved. Hassail, the procedure is complete. You are no longer an epitaph user. Back to just Hassail the PC. Whatever this is, it's big. But I don't see much choice, and I had business with him anyway. Love rap! Mm -hmm.